Um, thanks so much for being here and, and talking to us today. Um, I have a few questions for you, and then we'd love to get some pictures, um, have the, do some signings, um, but so excited you're here. And now this is your uh, third IndyCar race. <laughs> so compared to your very first race um, in St. Pete's to now, like what's, what's the difference? What are you feeling in this race versus your very first one? Uh, I feel a lot better about life here. Um, the first race, everything was so new. Um, coming from Europe to America, there's quite a lot of different things. Um, St. Pete, I turned off at the track for the first time and it's a street track, so you don't get the chance to test there and everything was new. So I was kind of, I felt like I was trying to be a sponge for information, but I don't know how efficient that process ended up being. I just ended up taking in all the information I could and some of it stayed, but some of it <laughs> got lost somewhere. So um, yeah, I was definitely a bit, um, felt like a rookie at the first race um, and I still do here but at the same time we've managed to test here it's more like a European style of track a little bit more open not a street course a bit more grip um, so yeah I definitely feel a little bit more at home um, every race every qualifier I'm just learning and yeah with that hopefully progressing and yeah as the season starts to go through um, I'm hoping that kind of keeps progressing yeah that's great that's what it's all about and what type of support have you gotten from the other Andretti drivers it's been great actually it's very refreshing um, coming here for the first time how open everyone is I think in, in Europe you keep yourself to yourself a lot more you're not quite as um, forthcoming to share information uh, whereas here I've been very very lucky the whole Andretti team have been very welcoming very open trying to help me where they can it's a very different challenge it's a big physical challenge for me coming over here the step up in car is is big um, I'm having to bulk up quite a lot and the team have been amazing at sort of coming to me with that as well and helping me. So um, still work to be done, but we're, we're getting there. That's awesome. Um, and how do you hype yourself up before you get out on the track? What do you do? Um, honestly, I do the opposite because adrenaline's amazing. And when you're in a race car, you're pumped up anyway. You really don't need anything else to try and get you going. But the one thing, and I bought it from the UK with me, a little espresso machine. I have a little coffee before. So caffeine hit. And then I try and chill, to be honest. I try not to get too, too pipes up because, like I said, when you get in the car, everything else, emotion, everything goes, goes through the roof. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. I don't know if we have any um, questions from the audience or anything, but yeah. Hey, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Um, so how do you prepare for the race? I mean, is there, uh, you said you don't try and, uh, you know, the anxiety or the adrenaline's already there, right? So how do you calm that state so that you can focus on the drive ahead? And you know, you do your practice runs, etc. but we're human. Yeah. You know, how, how do you kind of bulletproof your humanness? It's a really good question because um, for me it's had to change quite a lot and um, coming here where everything is new and there's a lot more information available to me it is actually a lot harder I find because before I would completely separate myself from this. I would try and be away from as many people as possible. I'll arrive at the track the latest if possible. I'll get in the car the latest. I'll do everything later so I don't think and then you get in the car and then everything else takes over and you're fine um, so I try and switch off as much as possible be around people probably not talk about driving racing just trust my natural ability and just get in and do the job um, here where everything is quite new I've had to kind of still be learning so um, fortunately I've got a really good group of people around me that kind of help manage that balance of what information do I need what do I not need to worry about and I think that's the key thing differentiate what I need and what I don't need and then not overloading me like I said, trusting your natural ability, trusting your, yourself. I think it's very easy as a sports person to lack confidence and to get in the car and be like, oh, I'm going to be terrible today. But I think you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to back yourself. And, and with that, um, yeah, just try avoid, avoid, avoid too much information.